everybody, it's Kim Odokoven here, KRO Designs on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube and all that good stuff. I'm here to show you how you can take the digital files that are included into Mommy Lay's digital download link on the back of that title card. I know a lot of you have been asking questions how to do this and I thought I'd do just this quick tutorial on how you would do it. So first of all, you're going to in the URL, type that in there for the January 2018. Of course, this works for past um, digital kits as well, but as you can see, I've typed that in and here are the digital downloads that are included in the January kit. Then what I'm going to do is, uh, there's multiple ways of doing this. So you can download them all together or you can download them separately. First of all, I'm just going to show you how to download them separately. So I'm just going to pick this one. And if you don't want to pick this one, you can obviously pick whatever one you want. But um, I'm liking this one um, that I want to download. So you'll come up into here in the right hand corner and you'll see it says download. You're going to down arrow click that. Um, and then you're going to say direct download or you can save to my Dropbox. And I'll show you which both of the ways. So if I go direct download, it automatically takes this file and downloads it to whatever you have. Now, I'm doing this on a desktop for um, recording purposes, but you could, this definitely works on your phones or your tablets. Then you'll see that down here in the right-hand corner, it says DigiStamp January, which is this file. Once you see this down in the corner or you see that it has been downloaded, if you don't know where your stuff is being saved at, you wanna right-click and you'll always see show in folder, open, or always open files of this type. If you don't know where your things are being saved in your computer, you want to say show in folder. And that's what I'm going to show you. Look at all this junk that I've downloaded <laughs> throughout the way. You can see I've got lots of different things, but this is what you want to pay attention to. Where are your files being downloaded on whatever device you have? As you can see, this is where all my downloads are. If you want to save it to Dropbox, I have a Dropbox um, um, account and I use it for work purposes. And so if I wanted to save it directly to my do Dropbox, you would click save to my Dropbox. This will be popped up and then it saves to the general folder of your Dropbox, which is what you will comes up here. I have all of these different Dropbox file folders that um, are include what that I've made in my own um, Dropbox folders, as you can see this. I um, Incidentally, I save everything by its maker mostly, so you'll see that I have a file made just for Mommy Lay, and I put all of the pictures I've taken and all of my files in Mommy Lay, and I'll show you that in just a minute. So let's go back to where we were in this file. Um, obviously, we've saved it now directly to Dropbox, and I've shown you how to do it directly to your device. Now, if you take the back arrow here, you'll see we go back to this main screen. Say you want all of these. You want this blue glitter paper, this grid insert, or the plum glitter paper, whatever works. If you want them all, what you want to do is at this screen, down arrow, click that, and you go direct download. Now, what it is doing is it is thinking about it's squishing, taking all of these files and squishing them into a zipped folder. That's what this says. As you can see, it's thinking and working hard to get all of those into one file. Waiting, waiting. Now that it's quit blanking, I can go ahead and remember where it is in my files or I can just double click on it. It will pop up a screen that says, this is a compressed folder file. It has all of these, every single one of these files in that one package. So I'm just going to go ahead and extract all, and this other screen will pop up. Again, this may be a different kind of process on your tablet and or your phone, but it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm going to select where I want it saved. That's why I clicked the browse. And as I said previously, I have a folder just for Mommy Lay. I'm gonna go up to January, which I've already made a folder for, because I know these are January digitals. And as you can see, I don't have anything in there. So I'm going to select that January folder and then click extract. And it's going to take apart all of those different files from that one big package. It's just basically opening a package and taking out all of your goodies and putting it in that folder. So there you go. You see that in my Mommy Lay January Dropbox folder, I have all of these files. So a lot of you have been asking, well, how do I print? 
Well, the short answer is, is that you cannot print from Mommy Lay's Dropbox file folder. It just won't give you an option and it's not going to be something that you can do. What you need to do is download the files to whatever device or computer, which I just showed you how to do. That's the only way to print. Now then, when you open those files up, either on your computer, like when I have them on my Mommy Lay Dropbox, this is where I can print them from. So again, we're going to use this digital file. As you can see, there's two options here in the corner. Share, which don't even think about it because it's totally illegal and you will get in trouble. Or you can click the word open and you'll have your default printer from your computer. Mine is Adobe Photoshop Express. So it's come up here. Now obviously you can crop or correct or do any of these sort of things um, from here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and print from Adobe Photoshop Express. And of course it says right here, this is my default printer and you can change the orientation or the color. So that's how I print from, if I wanted to do some quick printing before editing, I would just go ahead and click that. The next thing what you're going to do is you're going to look for other file types. As you can see, there's lots of different inserts included in this digital files. I have A6 and I have Pocket. So let's just pick um, a random insert to look at from our file folder here. Let's look at this grid insert. So there's two ways of printing. You can click this button here, which is the print button, or go to File and then click Print, and it'll have a dialog box come up. So this section of the presentation is for duplex printers. Those of you who have printers that will print on both sides of the paper for you. So obviously you wanna make sure your printer is hooked up either wirelessly or with a cord. You'll want to collect, select all pages to print, ignore these boxes, don't touch them. Actual size is what you want to click here. Also, you'll want to print on both sides of the paper and then flip on short edge. The last button you want to make sure that is highlighted is the Auto Portrait and Landscape. Once you click Print, the printer will automatically flip the pages for you and print on both sides. So here I am back. This is for the non-duplex printers. This means for people who do not have a printer that prints on both sides automatically. So obviously you want to start clicking Print one more time. So you've got pages to print up here. And again, you're just doing actual size and you're going to ignore all the other parts, auto portrait landscape, actual size, ignore everything else. Now this is where it comes into play with pages to print. You want to click pages and then you want to click this down arrow that says more options. And you'll see here, odd or even pages. What you're going to do is down arrow click that and you're going to pick odd pages first. I just do it this way because odd pages is the first selection and I can remember I've clicked the odd pages only. As you can see our, our, our little print preview thing here has changed to be only five pages. That's right because it's only number one, number three, number five, number seven, number nine of the ten pages. So you're going to print the odd pages first. Now as I'm printing, you'll see this progress box come up, but I just want to talk about your printer. If you do not know how your printer prints, meaning how the pages go back into the printer, you need to find that out before you click the print button. Write north, south, east, and west on a sheet of paper or one, two, three, four, or on the edges so you know which way your printer prints. Then put that piece of paper back in the tray and you'll know how your paper is orientated. It might take a few turns and you might need to think really hard, but sometimes printers actually have a little tiny hidden picture on the bottom of the tray where you put the paper. It will have a tiny little picture where it says this is the front and this is the back and this is how you put your orientation of your paper back into your printer. Now that I've printed out my odd pages, you want to go back again to the printer part. So you're going to go print, pages, more options, odd even pages, and again, since you've already inserted your odd pages back into your printer tray, go ahead and click even pages only, and we're not touching anything else down here. Make sure it's still actual size and auto portrait and landscape. And as you can see, my print dialog box has changed to print. <clears throat> two, four, six, and eight, and ten. So go ahead and click print, and there you have it. 
Thanks for stopping by, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment box below. I'd be more than happy to see if I can tackle your problems for you. Other than that, I just wanted to quick let you know that I'm starting a Planner Girl Digitals 101 series starting next week, where I go and walk you through how to cut, copy, paste, and use layers in Photoshop just for Planner Girls using Mommy Lays Digitals from the January kit. Thanks for stopping. Bye, guys.